Alright YouTube, I got some falcon blades up there. Wanted to start out with the five blade, but uh, that kind of didn't work out. Long story short, I'm using three first. Um, I'll switch over to five later, um, but I actually wanted to test the kilowatt meter to see what she's going to do. Okay, here we're looking at the kilowatt meter. Okay, just for this thing being plugged in, it's 2.2 watts. Okay, this thing hasn't been spinning the whole day. It's been running, uh, or I should say the whole night. It's been running almost 15 hours. Okay, and we're already at 0.3 kilowatts used. Okay, I'm going to my calculator here. And let's check out some numbers. 2.2 times we'll say 15 hours that's almost 15 equals okay 33 divided by 1000 because that's how many watts are in a kilowatt equals 0 0.03 0 0.03 okay now I'm thinking when this blade starts spinning actually that it will just add to the 0 0.03 kilowatts. If this meter is supposed to work like I'd hope it would, this number would actually go down, go back to zero, and then start counting when this thing is making power. I don't, I don't think it works that way. All right, here's my other one. Same scenario, 0 0.03. It's been on for almost 15 hours. The numbers match. Um, except for the plug-in power usage. But anyway, there's supposed to be a storm today. This is probably going to be the only one that makes any uh, real power um, for sure. So we'll watch this one too. And we'll see if this actually goes to the next digit I should read once it starts making power um, would be 0 0.02 if this works the way some people think it works but the way I think it works I think it's just gonna add it on to it um, if you look in the instru instruction manual for the kilowatt meter it doesn't really say anything about using these things for um, you know what we're using them for you know checking power coming in it's always about checking your appliances and you know stuff like that so we'll see what happens all right, it's been up for a while. Now she's spinning. Sometimes she's making power. Okay, as you'll see on the watt meter, it's making good power. Well, not good power, but she's making power. Okay, um, 45, 40, 63 watts. Nice. Okay, kilowatts. We're at 0.04 now, and it's been plugged in for 19 hours. Okay. Um, I'm waiting for, I guess I'm going to wait for this thing to hit 0 0.03. Now, I'll give it a little chance. Um, just to show you what the uh, three blade Falcon 5 is doing. It's not doing anything. There's the other one, if you can see it. Okay, I'm going to go up there and try and give it a help just to start turning it, see if it goes. Otherwise, I'm going to have to switch to the fives right away. All right, back here again. We're at uh, 0.04 kilowatts in 22 hours. And I do have my answer. This one is the modified one. Hasn't spun at all with the three blade Mach 5s. Um, so I guess my modified is just too much tension for it. This one has been spinning has been making a little power and it is at 0.05 all right, kilowatts in 22 hours so now we know that this didn't go to 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and then start counting up and, and we know this because right now it's at 0.05 and to get anything significant out of these, especially this is not even a windy day, um, it'd take hours. Like uh, I didn't even make a kilowatt in 300 hours. So now we know.
that this adds total power moving through it whether it's going in or coming out it just adds it all um, I don't know if there's a different kilowatt meter that actually is more smarter than this one but now I know how this one works now that I know how my kilowatt meter reads I wanted to go back and look and see what my seven blade PMG actually did um, when it hit one kilowatt I recorded the hours my modified was at 900 watts in the same amount of time now 378 hours is 15 and 3 quarter days well there was three days where it was really really windy and 12 of those days it really wasn't doing anything now when you have these things plugged in it's 2.1 watts just for being plugged in well 12 days no power that's 288 hours times 2.1 watts is 600 watts that means the PMG actually only made 400 watts in that amount of time which is really depressing because I would have made more power or saved more by not even having the thing plugged in well it's not really a fair analogy so um, let's say the thing was charging me the 2.1 watts half the time okay that sounds a little bit better it's 189 hours that comes to 400 watts that means my PMG actually made 600 watts now that's not very good at all I'm kinda of thinking what kind of power would you like to make per day let's say I made one kilowatt per day every day every day of the year averaged well what would I save power company charges me 16 cents per kilowatt and in 365 days that comes to a grand total of fifty eight dollars and forty cents that's what I would save if I made one kilowatt a day every day that doesn't really sound like it's uh even possible knowing I don't have that kind of wind I won't even come close to that